Welcome to Josh's Tech Adventure. I'm Josh. Hey! Today on our quick, very brief episode, we're going to take MacBook Pro 13-inch, mid-2010. Can it have more than 8 gigabytes of RAM? You'll find out. Stay tuned. MacBook Pro 13-inch, 2010. How many gigs of RAM do you think it can hold? How much ever Eight gigs? No. Wrong. I think Apple says it supports eight gigs, but watch this. One, two, three, four. Enter. Now if we come in here, we'll go in. It says we're rocking that high Sierra. <laughs> If you can't see that, I'll cut to a better clip. But that's right, MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2010 version 10.13.6, processor 2.4 gigahertz, Intel Core 2 Duo, memory 16 gigabytes of 1067 megahertz DDR3. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is an A1278, maybe? Mid 2010 MacBook Pro 13 inch. You can get two 8 gigabyte sticks and you can fit 16 gigabytes into this old bad boy. I'll show you how. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws that need to be removed. We'll do that now. Mid 2010 MacBook Pro 13 inch. 16 gigabytes of RAM. How do we get there? Let's backtrack together and go on Josh's Tech Adventure. Shut it down. Shut it down. Now Mac officially, or Mac, Apple officially supports, says this model supports 8 gigabytes of RAM. You know, and I know now, that not to be true. How do we get there? How do you make your MacBook Pro capable of gobbling up 16 gigabytes of RAM? Let's start out. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven three millimeter screws. One, two, three, what are these, 13 millimeter screws? Don't quote me on those exact measurements, but I have things a little prepped for you. I have to use this a little left-handed, even though I'm definitely, most definitely not left-handed. Let's see if we can get in here. Let's see, that, and I don't know why I have two different color screws. This old girl's pretty old, but as you can see, ah, that is a 13 and some odd millimeter screw. All right, once you've got your 10 screws off this guy, take your finger now, and this whole thing easily lifts off. Now, what are we looking at now? Check this out. This is the inside of your MacBook Pro computer. What do you have down here? This is your battery. Attaches right here to the main board. Over here, yours might look a little different because I have since put in a solid state drive for that flash, fast, forward, boom, bang, that uh, quick boot. Here's your CD-ROM drive. Here's your fan. And this, the brains of the operation, it's your main board. That right there are two sticks of DDR3 RAM. How do you get them off? Two little black things here. Pull them apart. And look at that. They both shoot out. Gently give it a side to side wiggle. Boom. Gently give it a side to side wiggle. Boom. As you can see, you have short pins here, long pins here. There's only two slots that they can go in, so you're going to need to max them out with. Doesn't have to be this brand, but it could be whatever. I know this works. They're not a sponsor of the show, but I do know ATAC memory does work in this fine computer. So what you need is not some glare. Maybe we'll get you a better picture of that later. Anyway, it says 8 gigabytes DDR3 PC 8500 so dim 1066 megahertz. That's the number you need. Anything higher and this computer will not see it. So go ahead and get yourself two eight gigabyte sticks. Once you have them, hold them like this. Come in, come in at an angle, 
just gently. You can only go in a little bit. Click it down. Okay, same thing. In at an angle. Push it in. Click it down. Okay, now before we put all 10 screws back together, let's flip this guy over. Let's open it up. And let's see if she's happy. Josh's Tech Adventure. It's over, guys and girls. That's it. MacBook Pro mid-2010, 13-inch. Now you know you can cram 16 gigabytes of DDR3, 1066 megahertz memory into this beautiful machine. Join me on my next tech adventure. Please comment, subscribe down below. Thank you.